Matthew, Yahoo, Matthew 11. And it came to pass, when Yahusha had made an end of commanding his twelve Talmudim, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Now when Yehuchanan had heard in the prison the works of Mashiach, he sent two of his Talmudim, and said unto him, Are you he that should come, or do we look for another? Yahusha answered and said unto them, Go and show Yehuchanan again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the basor preached to them. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. And as they departed, Yahusha began to say unto the multitudes concerning Yahuchanan, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, which shall prepare your way before you. Amen, I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there has not risen a greater than Yehuchanan the Immerser. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of Yahuwah is greater than he. And from the days of Yehuchanan the Immerser until now, the kingdom of Yahuwah suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the Torah prophesied unto Yehuchanan. And if ye will receive it, this is Eliyahu, which was for to come. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this nation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets, and calling unto their fellows, and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. For Yehuchanan came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He has a devil. The son of Adam came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold a man gluttonous and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done, because they repented not. Woe unto you, Chorazin! Woe unto you, Beit to Sion! For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tesor, and to Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tesor and to Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And you, Capharnacum, which are exalted unto heaven, shall be brought down to Sheol. For if the mighty works which have been done in you had been done in Sidon, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sedom in the day of judgment than for you. At that time, Yahusha answered and said, I thank you, O Father, Yahuwah of heaven and earth, because you have hid these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knows the Son but the Father. Neither knows any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. <laughs>